Like, I said, I'm sure I wore a jacket like that before. And so then I, I was looking through pictures, and I saw uh, there's lots of pictures of the return of the six week, the first six week, and I was standing there, you know, when the guys came back, and I was speaking to them, but I, and wearing my red jacket. So it was pr it was proof that those jackets did exist before the six week trip. <laughs> and so uh, I was then trying to think about well, how many years before that. Did I wear a jacket like on the trail? Have my my moniker, my thing. You guys have got high quality. Uh, I had mine. Mine. My son brought one up from the basement uh, before I came, and uh, he was. He said, "Well, you've got one, Dad. You've still got one." And he brought it up from the basement, and it was uh, made in, made in China. <laughs> and, it, and its sleeves were about up to here. And it definitely didn't fit this way, but uh, but I had one of those jackets. But you see, I never went on a six-week trip, so I didn't get the honor of having my my nickname on there or my year or whatever. But uh, yeah, but, but they that, did exist. So you gave the green light to it. Yes, I did. Yes. Well, no, I didn't. To the jackets or to the... Uh, no, the, the, for the 69 trip. No, actually, you have to be honest here. Uh, 1960, okay, 1968, Jim King went to Camp Wijiwaga. And Camp Wijiwaga was one of the big camps in the United States. It's located in Ely, Minnesota. And it was the camp where uh, they did a lot of wilderness tripping. And so King went down there to learn some new things. And so he came back and he brought a whole pile of new ideas. But the camp director in 1969 was Doug McEwen. And Doug McEwen gave the green light for the six week trip, the first six week trip. So that was a big risk for McEwen to take at the time. Because there, it was all, it was unknown. But, uh, but Jim King was the guy who, when you think about the trail over all these years, 50 years, I'm sure that we'll look back and divide it into eras. And the era, my time with the trail program was to go through the birthing phase, get it started. And Jim King was the guy who was the, the he brought the modern era of the trail. He brought all these new things, new ideas, and uh, so he, he deserves a lot of credit for, most of the credit, for the birth of the new trail operations. Get him to answer his email. Yeah, he can't. He never answers email. He's never home. <laughs> you know where he, he's in, he's in Europe, cycling with Neil Robinson. Okay. So you're done with this camera?